the title of this writing is Shoulders. Whose shoulders are you standing on? You didn't get to the apex of where you are without stepping on a few shoulders. I should note that you may not like where you currently are, but again, the question begging for an answer is, whose shoulders are you standing on? In the case of not liking our location, we're quick to allow someone else to shoulder the blame as to where we are, but that ignores who's choosing where to stand. Many of us, for better or worse, are standing on the shoulders of the early people who helped form us, parents, caregivers, and influencers too numerous to mention. But somewhere along the way, we climbed on board someone else's shoulders to gain a taller view. Who helped you broaden your perspective? Who is foundational in your worldview? You may have a short list or a long list of folks to credit, but it helps to make that list to see the flowchart of you. One of the questions I like to ask musicians is, who influenced you? Reminds me of a story. A lot of years ago, I attended a concert by pianist George Winston, who had a best-selling album called December. It contained many songs with a Christmas holiday feel. He played songs from that album and others that he had recorded. I remember remarking aloud that his style on a few of the songs reminded me of a piano player who had a couple of hit songs when I was a kid. That man's name was Floyd Kramer. Imagine my surprise when the very next song he played, Last Date, was dedicated to one of his early influencers, Floyd Kramer. We both recognize the shoulders. It's not only respectful to give credit, but humbling as well, and it fills you with gratitude. When we recognize we didn't get here without help, we tap into the grateful feeling of having stood on another's shoulders. I could list a number of people whose names you wouldn't recognize as being instrumental in my development, but that wouldn't serve you as well as making your own list for your own benefit. Take a moment today to list the shoulders you have stood on. It'll help you to appreciate and see more of the parade called life. All the best, John.